This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hi, we're Steven and Jess at Little Baby Hunter. And for the last few months, we've been converting a cargo van into our dream tiny house on wheels. And just this last week, we finally finished building Cooper the van, packed him up and we we're ready to hit the road. And now you're probably all looking at the title of this video and thinking, wait, you're just about to abandon your home, something that we've all been working on for the last four months to head on a plane and fly somewhere internationally? Well, um, yes or no, let us explain. So, uh, just got back from the licensing center. So we bought this van as a cargo van, converted it into a motorhome. So what you have to do is you need to take it through the pits. They need to get someone to come through, give us an engineering certificate, tick off that we've done the build correctly, and then it can get licensed from a cargo empty van into a motorhome. So that's all good. However, it seems like every Australian out there has the exact same idea as we do. And at the moment, it is a three week wait until this van is licensed as a motorhome, which means technically right now, it's probably illegal to be driving this van. Three weeks. What a way to deflate a celebration, Jess. Jess is going to be so sad. So it's uh, it's been a couple of days since we've come to terms that we, <laughs> we've had this massive lead up and we can't leave for three weeks. So tell them your plan, Jess. All right, so we haven't been able to travel internationally now for over a year and it's actually only been a couple of months ago where we were allowed to travel like between the states here in Australia, but only a week ago, New Zealand announced a travel bubble with Australia. I can confirm that quarantine-free travel between New Zealand and Australia will commence in just under two weeks' time, from 11.59 p.m. Sunday, April 18th. I know, I still cannot believe it, which means that we can travel to New Zealand right now, quarantine-free, like New Zealand is doing better right now than Australia with COVID. Like this is going to be amazing. And yes, I may have just booked some flights. What's today, Wednesday? We were hoping to go tomorrow. We always do this. I totally forgot that I need to renew my passport. You can see us in the. You can see us eating a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, new passport! Oh, yes! Yay! Shall we um, plan a little trip? <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're banding Cooper just for a few weeks and deciding to fly to another country. So, car is all packed and it still feels so weird to say that we are currently driving to the International Airport Terminal. Like... I know, I don't think it's hit me yet. I didn't expect <laughs> Hunter to be able to go to her first ever country before one and I'm feeling so grateful that we get to call Australia home and how New Zealand opened up to us which is so awesome so we're heading off to the airport and uh let's go to New it. Zealand <laughs> I don't think it's actually hit me that we're about to step foot in the international terminal <laughs> I don't think it's going to hit me until we actually get into New Zealand. You look like a mom, ready for an adventure. <laughs> I am, I'm ready for an adventure. Are you ready, Hunter? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you going to be a good girl? Alrighty, we are all checked in. We have 20 minutes until we board, so we're always cutting it late. But uh, we decided to do a night flight because we're hoping Little Hunter will sleep on the flight because this is going to be the longest travel day we've ever done with her. It's a 10 hour, 10 hour travel day, six hours to Auckland and then is it two hours to Christchurch? And we're going to be changing, what is it, four or five hours of a time zone change. So we're going to have a little jet lag baby on our hands. And honestly, the process was super simple because with the travel bubble, they're pretty much seeing New Zealand as like another state of Australia. So we didn't need to do any COVID tests. We pretty much just had to apply on the New Zealand website for like a declaration, which came through instantly anyway. So like, I'm pretty sure if you forget to do it, you can do it when you arrive there. All right, see you later, Australia. It's like this one giant bird. Yeah, that's our plane. Do you see it? <laughs> 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 
wah, 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 wah. <laughs> All right, let's the long flight begin with this little crazy girl. <laughs> We definitely think booking the night flight worked in our favour with Little Hunter. With the departure of 7.45pm, way past her bedtime, she may have gotten a little bit delusional. <laughs> Chatting to the passengers walking past, making friends with babies, making friends with safety cards, and with Air New Zealand for an extra 29 bucks, you can book in for a seat with a bassinet. And that day, this was the best $29 we ever spent. Hunter slept the entire six hours, waking up just before landing for some cuddles with mom. So after arriving in Auckland and a very slow check-in, we caught our final flight for the day for some extended cuddles with mom. <laughs> <laughs> Australia to New Zealand and you have a little one, firstly do the night flight and for an extra $30 you can get that bassinet area which means that little Hunter slept in a bassinet for the first flight. It was amazing. I'm exhausted. <laughs> she <laughs> slept. Doesn't yeah, mean you we slept. slept. You slept. <laughs> oh dear. Alright, is it time for sleep? We're going to sleep all night. Oh, she's saying bye. Good night everybody. See you in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's Hunter? <laughs> Late night snack? Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Good morning everybody, welcome to our first official day here in New Zealand. We are currently in Christchurch and we are here for the next two days and look how beautiful the colours are right now. When we're in Perth, it was autumn there as well, but we don't get the autumn colours like they do here in New Zealand and I totally forgot that they do. So we get here and I was like, oh my goodness, the leaves here are so beautiful. We are staying at an Airbnb just across the road. And this area is called Hagley Park and there's this beautiful river that runs through. So this morning we're going to go for a little walk along the river. Put your hand in my hand, darling, say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon, stay go. All I need are your eyes, you're my arrow. Now we're running into the wild. Look, you see the birds? Where are the birds? Hunter is currently obsessed with birds and this is the first time seeing ducks. Oh, these are ducks. They go quack, 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 quack. Can you say hi? We just wanted to say a massive thank you to our good friends over at Squarespace for their continued support of our channel. And uh, this feels strange not doing this in our living room. But if you are new around here, Squarespace is the amazing all-in-one platform we can easily put together a website or domain. So we're definitely gonna be putting a blog post together of all the beautiful photos that we're gonna be taking from our trip here in New Zealand. And it's so easy thanks to their award-winning website design. So if you are new around here, make sure you check out our link in the description below for your free trial. Plus when you're ready to sign up to get 10% off your first order. Now let's keep traveling. So we've just headed over to Riverside Market and I think we're looking for something sweet. Keep 
find these places. This is so cool. <laughs> Do you see the ramen, baby? I feel like to get over this jet lag, we have just been going out and eating and um, Hunter is a big fan of it. I feel like here in Christchurch, there are so many amazing places to eat and we've come to a place called the Little High Eatery and it's really cool. It's like a really fancy food court with eight or nine places, like local places you can eat at and you can basically just walk around, choose what you want to eat and then eat, which is awesome. So if you're looking for a place to eat with a bunch of friends and you all like different foods, it's great because one of you guys can get wood fried pizza, one of you can get the ramen, but I think it's time for Hunter to be initiated. Are you gonna try some ramen? Hunter, that's a chopstick. Oh, dumplings are ready. Okay, this is the fanciest food court ever. Look how this was presented, Steve. Spicy. This is so good. Oh. We may have to do this blind. <laughs> you try it. <laughs> you have to open up. Punch it like this. Ah. Yes. Initiated into the ramen club. Yum. <laughs> I think we have to cut these off a bit. So, in the heart of the city, they have the most epic playground for Hunter. They built it in the post-2011 earthquake recovery, and we think it's probably a good place to get out some energy. <laughs> All right, Papa. You don't know what playground means yet, so we're gonna introduce this to you. This is a good way to get some energy out. But what do you think about going down the big, big slide? All right, we have two options. The underground slide, or let's test this out. Oh, oh, oh. What do you think of this slide, Baba? And... Oh, she got G-Force. Alright, a bunch of you told us when you saw that we were in Christchurch that we need to go and grab ice cream from this place. Rollican? Rollican ice cream? And I decided to go for the Hokey Pokey because I know that is a New Zealand ice cream, I'm pretty sure. But Hunter's never tried ice cream and I just feel bad not letting her. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you have a taste. Hang on, I'll quick taste. <gasps> oh, it's mom's first taste. A little taste. What to do? It's oh. What do you? <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Okay, one more lick. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think we got. <laughs> I think we might have an ice cream lover in the house. She got that from her mum. <laughs> guys today we decided to leave the big city and head an hour and a half east to a place called Akaroa for one thing here is one of the most rarest dolphins in the world they're called the Hector's dolphin and you can only find them here in this part of New Zealand like you can't find them anywhere else in the world and I've heard that they are the smallest dolphins and something a little bit unique about the tour we're about to do is that they um they use something quite interesting to find the dolphins Look at <laughs> that! So Meet Buster, the dolphin spotting puppy, and Hunter's new best friend. To be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about Buster's skills as we sat around taking in the views. But boy oh boy was I wrong, and Buster certainly delivered. He found the dolphins for us and let them know to put on a good show for us. Uh. 
and honestly, after such an incredible day, Buster totally deserved all the pats. I think Hunter has just made a new best friend, a little <laughs> Buster. <laughs> that was seriously the funnest afternoon, and those dolphins were so unique. They were so small, they almost didn't look like dolphins, but it was the best day ever. We are all so unbelievably pooped. So guess what we've ordered? Hunter, don't eat that because that is our ticket to collect our fish and chips we saw when we got off the harbour. There was a place for fish and chips and I was like, how have we been in New Zealand now for three days and we still haven't had any fish and chips? So little Hunter needs to try a local delicacy here. And luckily we are only staying five minutes away from the harbour because this one is also due for a nap. So we've just arrived in like woodlands, is it? And Hunter and Hunter has now fallen asleep. We only drove five minutes and she fell asleep. <laughs> How could she have one minute sleep and suddenly be like, yep, I'm refreshed, I'm ready for an adventure. Where are we going, Hunter? <laughs> 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 we really are in the forest now. So this hut that we are on the hunt for it's like five minutes outside of town, up on this incredible hill. I can't wait to show you the view, but... Oh my gosh, it's spooky here. It is! <laughs> um, it's up at night time! <laughs> oh my gosh, look at those views! <laughs> wow, and I just saw here, this is what we're going to be enjoying tonight while looking at those views. Wow! <laughs> so an outdoor bathtub. How cool is that, Baba? That's wicked! Wow! Oh, look at it, Steve. Oh, the bathroom's outside. <laughs> this is so cool. So we're staying in like a little hut right up in the mountains. Oh, they've got an outside barbecue. I was wondering why there was no key. It's just left open. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at this. This is going to be a cool little night. <laughs> see, bounce, see, bounce. I bounce. I bounce. I bounce. Do the honors. I feel like if no one has been to New Zealand before, you can have no idea what this is. So this is, I guess I would say the New Zealand version of a Bundaberg ginger beer because Bundaberg ginger beer comes from Australia. Everyone loves it. LMP comes from New Zealand and it's kind of like a lemonade. And I don't think I've ever seen it anywhere else besides New Zealand. No, I don't think I even see it back home. All right, cheers Steve. Back in New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just as good as I remember Steve. This view is just so amazing. It almost makes like you feel emotional that we are so thankful that we are able to you know be traveling I mean I've missed this this has been so amazing I mean just look look at that view guys New Zealand is so beautiful the little one is absolutely down for the count she was exhausted so she's gonna miss out on our first fish and chips here in NZ we might have to save her a piece if we're not that hungry <laughs> Guess who woke up just in time to watch the sunset? Good morning, little one. Hey, Do you think it's a pretty nice view? Yeah, she's got a snack. Hey, you happy sorry you we didn't up? save you any fish and chips. It's okay, peanut butter sandwich is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it looked like she just cuddled you, but I'm pretty sure she just wiped all her <laughs> food onto you. I know, I just had a shower. <laughs> Mum, we need refills. Alright, so we've had some requests for scrambled eggs for brekkie and um, I think this is a pretty cool 
kitchen set up. But wow, what? What a way to start our morning. Uh, splash, splash, splash. Good morning, everybody, from the most epic bathtub in the world. <laughs> this is like Hunter's first time having a bubble bath, and she is amazed. Look, where's the bubbles? <laughs> splash, splash, splash. <laughs> that was adorable. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed our first little vlog here in New Zealand. Totally surprised, wasn't expecting to be making any vlogs over here, but <laughs> hey, make the best out of uh, our current situation. So if you are new around here, make, sh make sure you hit subscribe and uh, we've got some fun New Zealand vlogs coming your way. See you guys next time. Bye!